awesome. Oh, this is it. Thanks, Lily. You get a little more. This is the water right here. Yeah, All right. Thank you, Thank nature. You nature. <laughs> Hi. Hello, my friends. First of all, we just want to send you some what we're calling here on the farm air hugs. So, sending you love and big hugs. Oh. Uh -huh. From Wisconsin to you. <laughs> Today's video, I wanted these two with me to get some ideas because I know that a lot of parents suddenly find themselves at home with their kids and having to do homeschooling. And of course, we do homeschooling, actually unschooling, actually fun schooling here. So we just wanted to share a little bit well, just basically one, probably, principle that can make that uh, really fun and successful if you do have your kids at home. Don't worry if you do not have kids, this also will apply to you as you shall see. So, okay girls, you got to imagine, usually parents are at work, kids are at school, but suddenly a lot of parents are home, they don't have work, and the kids don't have school, they're all together. Okay. <laughs> if another, something you could do is we have flashcards. It's a piece of paper where you write the equation on it, and on the back it has the answer. Equation and the answer. And then you show the person it, and you if they figure it out, and then you show them the back. Or you tell them if they're correct or incorrect by looking at the back. Do you have any ideas? You want to share? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. So I would say the very first thing is to realize that if you are all together at home, this is a unique opportunity to come closer together yeah, as I a know. family. Yeah. Go well, for walks. Go for walks. If you can go for walks, yeah. Not everybody can do that really easily right now, but most, even in lockdown places, they're allowing people to have exercise. So to get out for that yeah. fresh air as a family, awesome. So this is a unique time to connect all together as a family and to start really learning about each other because the way our culture is structured, parents off at work, kids at school, often we don't even know each other very well. And the hugest principle of fun schooling is what are you interested in? So if you're going to do some unschooling, fun schooling with the kids, your school might have a curriculum, but you can add this on is to say, Mirabelle, what are you really interested in right now? And the, the school part of our brains might be going, hoping she says, algebra. But she might say, oh, purple jelly beans. <laughs> and you think, <laughs> jelly beans, all right, that's not a subject. But stop and think, how can you make that into a learning experience? And with YouTube and online, you can start learning about taste buds. Why does sugar taste so amazing to us and so addictive? <laughs> How are those flavors created? How are artificial flavors created? How about natural flavors? How do our taste buds work? Ah, Rebecca was talking about, okay, a little boy might, or a little girl might say, I'm really interested in trucks. And so you could learn about different kinds of trucks, but see where this can lead. You could say, all right, let's imagine that we're going to take our truck on a trip to visit grandma and then get out maps and see where she lives. And suddenly you can start learning about latitude and longitude. You can ask them what state does she live in and what states will we need to cross to get there. Yeah, here in the U.S. you could uh -huh. start learning or your states. Or even if she lives in the same state as you, you could say which which big cities or towns might we have to cross or stuff like that. Yeah, you could make it fun for a younger kid if you wanted to add some math and say, let's bring grandma a present. Let's bring her as many giraffes as we could fit into that truck. And then you might just by figuring out the weight of a giraffe and the capacity of the pickup, you could figure out 
how many giraffes you could safely fit in that truck to take to grandma. By making things fun and interesting, you as a parent can take one subject and you can get tangential about it and make it interesting to explore here again, from trucks to geography, to cartography, to uh, mathematics, might want to learn more about the giraffe because then you say well when we get that giraffe to grandma's she's gonna to have to know what to feed it and this is how yeah fun schooling can be fun i wish you can't we do that sometime <laughs> you want to do that that's how to engage interest in children instead of saying okay kids when we do the flashcards, it's not now you must do the flashcards. we have fun you look forward to those it's really fun because i get a little goofy when i do them and we have fun little yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that is how with kids you can add fun schooling just by taking that principle of what somebody is interested in and then using that as a launch point for other things now if you are an adult you don't have children i promise this would apply to you too and it does because this is a fabulous opportunity to learn things especially if you are off of work and you're stuck in you're stuck at home and what do i do with myself youtube you can learn just about anything at this point and online there's there's books you can read remember if you go onto amazon and you look at a book you can often read the beginning of the book there on amazon so you can even if you can't get a book right now you can sometimes get the beginning of some books and you can start learning about maybe you're really interested in philosophy maybe you want to learn a new language maybe you want to learn about trucks and giraffes and grandmas <laughs> and grandmas whatever it is and states this and is and let's see and math and yeah think about bushcraft that, all the things that included in just the one there are so many things yeah. to learn in this world so if there's an interest that or a passion that you have had then maybe seize this opportunity as a time to really learn about it or develop it. At the end of this, we might all have a very changed world. And who knows what that will look like. To explore! There might be a world where it's arranged differently. <laughs> In a way that your gifts might have more relevance than they did before. They always had relevance. Our culture just pushed a lot of stuff aside and said, only these things are important. But develop the skills and interests that you are interested in <laughs> right now. See what you can do to really make that blossom. And we, of course, would love to hear if you are fun schooling or unschooling or whatever. And what you do! Yeah, share some things and that you're doing down there. More. And if you are an adult and you don't have kids and you are exploring an interest that has been sitting in the background and you've really been wanting to bring it out, share that with us too. We want to hear about it and talk with you down in the comments. We love you all so much. We are here with you and so oh, glad that you are part of our lives. Bye. What's that? Uh, everyone, just so everyone knows, we are doing totally fine. We're at a super nice... Oh yeah, I'm friends... going to do another oh, I'm okay. do another video on that. Okay, I thought we were doing it anyway. <laughs> Uh, Big love to you all. Alright. Uh -huh.